new here. My name is Shannon. Hi, nice to meet ya. And here I am with another thrift haul for you guys. Once again, what a shock. But the thing that's different today is I have so many things. It's kind of ridiculous. I went a little bit crazy last week and I found some really, really awesome pieces. I am seriously so excited to show you guys. I've been waiting to film this for kind of a little while just because I wanted to put out a different video for you guys and if you guys want to check it out I'll just link it up here. It's a little bit different than my normal thrifting videos but I still think it was pretty fun to film. I have a million things to show you guys. If you want to go ahead like comment down below. Comment your favorite. I love hearing your favorite item from my hauls and if you want to you can always subscribe to the fam. Thanks again for a thousand subscribers. I love each and every single one of you. I think it's like a thousand one hundred subscribers now. I've already worn a couple of these pieces on my Instagram just the ones I'm planning on keeping myself so if you guys want to follow you can just go ahead and do that and I'll... Anyway I've been talking too much, let's get into this haul because if not, it's gonna be like an hour long. First piece that I have here is just this, this black striped sweater and it kind of reminds me of like a varsity sweater just because the stripes going down the side and I think I'm gonna end up cropping this and putting it on my Depop. I just thought it was really cool and I really like stripes like this. I think that they're really trendy for this season. I know that it's almost springtime. It's gonna be starting to get a little bit hotter and that's why I wanted to crop this just because I would still be able to wear it. It's like still 60 degrees in Northern California so it's cold enough to wear stuff like this and get away with it. I just thought it was super cute and it's black and gray and what more could you want? You can literally wear this with anything. The next thing that I got, you guys are gonna die because I died when I saw it. This completely clueless vibes blazer and once again I know that we're kind of getting into spring but wearing this with a tight like black dress that has the straight across kind of vibe thing would be so cute this is definitely going to be such a good look in the spring and it has the pastel colors as well that are in this season and I just thought it was really cute plus it's not exactly super warm in the spring here, so I think you could get away with wearing a blazer like this, but oh my gosh, I was obsessed. The second I saw this, I literally just thought clueless. I thought Cher would wear this, and I had to pick it up. Okay, so the next thing that I got was just this really cool Harley Davidson shirt, and I have never seen a Harley shirt like this, especially because it has this like interesting like little detailing on the back. I just thought it was really different. It has the Davidson going down the sleeve, and it's just this plain cute black shirt and it has like red on it which is even better red and black clearly I like that theme it's been a reoccurring thing in my closet so I'm kind of trying to stay clear of this but it was so cute like I couldn't not pick it up and it's also long sleeve again but spring is cold all right I'm just making excuses so I can validate these purchases but anyway <laughs> I really thought this was a cool t-shirt. Moving on, I also found this sweater. I don't know why, it just kind of reminded me of like those rainbowy sweaters that are going around, even though, granted, it's not completely rainbow. It just has like different colored stripes all over it and it's like a navy color and I just thought it was really cool. I think I'm also gonna crop this one as well just so I can wear it during the spring, but it just has such fun like 80s vibes to me and it kind of looks like a grandpa sweater but I think with it cropped it's gonna be a look guys like this with some white pants and like some cute sunnies perfect for the spring I'm so excited to style this for you guys I cannot wait so the next thing that I found is super sick and yeah just wait until you see it I am completely obsessed with it and I don't know if I'm gonna be selling this but We'll see. It's a little bit wrinkly, I know, but it's a windbreaker and I love it. It has yellow, it has like a cool Nike sign right here, and like, look at these sleeves guys, like this is to die for. I am so obsessed with this jacket and I know I've been showing you guys a lot of sweaters and jackets and stuff, but I just could not turn down some of these things because just, I'm sorry, but this just got me, like, 
right when I saw it, I was like, this is amazing. I need this in my life, like, right now. It's just so comfy and so aesthetically pleasing. I don't know what it was about this jacket, but I was totally obsessed with it from the second that I saw it, and I had to get it, and it just has nice yellow on the back, too, and you guys know yellow is my favorite color. Blue is also my favorite color, so... That's kind of probably why I'm totally freaking out about this jacket, but it has really nice lining on the inside, and it has an NBA patch here too. I don't really know why, but hey, it's a cool jacket, and I'm obsessed. I love it. The reason why this haul is so big is because I went thrifting twice, and I vlogged both of them. I just have like a massive pile of stuff. I don't really know if I really explained why there's so much stuff. I just went to two different places and I ended up finding a lot of really amazing pieces. So anyway, the next thing that I got, I was super shocked to find because they were in such good condition and I've been looking for a pair of these forever. They are just these super nice slip on vans and they happen to be my size. They're a little bit worn on the side, but it's okay. There's been so many subscribers telling me how I can clean them and I really appreciate you guys telling me that. I went and I picked up a magic eraser like the other day, so I'm gonna try and clean these off with that. They're in style right now. Everybody's wearing these vans and they're so comfortable and easy to put on. Like, why would you not want a pair of vans like these? But I love them. I don't really know what else to say. I'm just, ugh. <laughs> I'm just super happy that I found them. They were a lot cheaper than what you would pay in the store. So how could I not, you know? So the next thing that I found was actually in the little girl section. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you probably know I have a really hard time finding pants that actually fit me at the thrift store. So when I found these, I decided to try them on and see if they would work for me. They are just these super new black skinny jeans from BDG, which is like a brand from Urban Outfitters. I think they were size 24, but they thought that they were like little girls pants or something. But honestly, I wasn't really mad about it because like I said, I never find pants that actually fit me and these fit like a dream and I'm obsessed with them. So like I said about the majority of the things that I've already talked about. But you guys really, really like this t-shirt that I got in my previous thrift haul, I think. And so I decided to go ahead and pick another one up that's pretty similar to the one that I'm wearing. Granted, it doesn't have like the black on it, but it's still red and white and striped. It's like the same type of shirt, honestly. I think I'm going to be listing this up on my Depop just in case you guys maybe want a t-shirt like this and haven't been able to find one. It's a lot softer than the shirt that I'm wearing, so I almost think that this one's better than the one that I'm wearing right now, but yeah, I saw this and I thought of you guys and I was like, well, maybe somebody else will love it. The next t-shirt that I found was just this really cool Polo Ralph Lauren shirt and it just has like the super big Polo Ralph Lauren on it. And I figured if you cropped this and wore it with like jean shorts and like some platform like white sneakers or pants or something, it would just be so cute. And I've been trying to get more into pink lately. And I just thought this was a super cool find. I know a lot of people like are really into graphic tees right now. And I know I'm super into them because they're so comfortable and they're really easy to wear and throw on with anything. So I saw this and I was like, Yes, this is happening. I'm buying it, throwing it in my cart. <laughs> I have been like super, super into these tops with structured like stripes and stuff. And, and I just really like the cut of the neckline and the straps on this. And it's a little bit boxy kind of, but I like that. And it has a material on the front. This brand is Vanini. I have no idea what that means, but yep, that's what it is. I also got like a high-waisted skirt that I'll be showing you guys in like two seconds. And with that, it literally looked so cute. And it's just, how many times can I say cute? Once again in this haul, I'm sorry. There's just a million different pieces in this haul. And I think saying something's cute is really unavoidable for me at this point. Like it's gonna happen again. But anyway, I think it's different than a lot of the tops that I have. I just, get really like 90s vibes from it and it's made out of this really like nice material and I just I like it a lot and I think it was like three dollars only maybe two bucks it was pretty cheap another thing that I got with like red vibes was this 
red and mustard yellow champion shirt and I was so obsessed with this when I found this at the store. I was like, I need this right now. And I was wearing like maroon shoes during that come thrifting with me and I just put this shirt on with that outfit and I was like, this is a look, this is it, I'm buying it. I don't even have to look at this again. There's no second thoughts, it's mine. And it goes with that like athleisure, athletic-y kind of vibe and it's champion, it has like a little logo right there. It also kind of like weirdly gives me Juno vibe. I'm picturing the cover of Juno and the uh, Michael Sarah in that movie. I'm pretty sure it was Michael Sarah. I think he was wearing like a gym shirt that looked like this in the DVD cover, but I could be completely wrong. I don't know, those are the vibes I'm getting from it. And you know what, he rocked it and I plan on rocking it too, so. I'm stoked about this shirt. If you guys watch The Bachelor or if you keep up with any of like previous Bachelors contestants or winners, you might know what sweater I'm talking about right now. Ben Higgins winner Lauren Bushnell wore a sweater that literally looked exactly like this and I'm not entirely sure if they're from the same place or not but I'll just like insert a picture right here of what I'm talking about so you guys will kind of get the vibe that I'm feeling right now. I found this amazing star sweater at the thrift store and it is in such amazing condition. Whoever bought this didn't even wear it. And I think I'm holding it backwards. Oh no, I'm not. I was right the first time. <laughs> it's so warm and I am completely in love with this. I think that this type of style isn't going away anytime soon. So I'm going to keep this for next winter as well, but it's actually from H&M and it's just brand new and super cool. And it has like these nice slits down the side, which I really like on sweatshirts. I don't really like the ones that like are cinched at the bottom. I don't know why. I just don't think that they look really good on me personally, but I am obsessed with this sweater. It is the best, most comfy, like amazing sweater I have gotten in a really long time. And I'm super excited about it. I'm super into tops like this or more like sweaters like this and guys this is an esprit sweater and it says esprit right there it's like almost like branded into the zip up it's really cool and it's this bright red color which is totally in right now you can wear this casually or you can wear this out you can style this so many different ways and i just really really like that this trend is a thing right now because it allows you to be comfy and cute and you can wear pieces like this that are bright and like in people's faces and it's just it's just pretty like i really really love this color red if you guys I haven't been able to tell like in my previous hauls or anything or even what I'm wearing right now. If you guys saw my vlog then you would have seen me try this shirt on and I still think I'm a little bit crazy for getting this shirt. I just love it so much and it's so it's so fun it's so different I have no idea how I'm gonna style this at all whatsoever. I just thought it was interesting. I just really like the color blue of this and then all of the other colors that the toucan and the leaf has to offer. I just really enjoyed this color scheme and I couldn't not get it. I think it was only like two or three dollars so I was like why not? I'm gonna make this work. I don't care what I have to do but I'm getting it. And the brand is Angel. I I don't know where the shirt is from, but it says Sao Paulo, um, Brazil on the bottom. So I'm thinking maybe it was like from Brazil or I don't know, maybe a boutique or something. I have no idea, but whoever got rid of this shirt, thank you because I'm totally and completely obsessed with it. And come on guys, it's just so cute. Like it's so cute. Is anybody else getting like wild thornberry vibes from this shirt? I don't know why, but I feel like if I was in wild thornberries, this is the shirt that I would be wearing. Anybody? Anybody else agree? <laughs> Moving in to my last red piece of this haul, you guys are probably like, oh, thank God, like how many more can she have? I got this really interesting tank top. I found it in the men's section and I think I'm gonna crop it. I originally saw what it looked like. I it into a pair of high-waisted jeans and it was super cute. Like it reminded me of this shirt a little bit, but even better because it has yellow and it also has like a little hint of blue if you guys can see that right there you might not be able to but I just thought it was really interesting and cropping this would be really fun I just think it's really interesting and how many more red pieces can I get right it is 
the BDG brand as well from Urban. The next shirt that I found is from a brand that actually was super popular on YouTube for a while. I haven't really been hearing influencers talk about it as much lately, but I really like the brand. It is just this cute little shirt from Boohoo, and I thought that it had a different twist to it. Like, it's almost like super girly and kind of reminds me of like a ballerina or something. I have no idea why, but <laughs> I just thought it was super different, like, because it's a striped shirt, but it also has like this fun material at the bottom. It's cute. I love it and it's super flowy and fun and I just like I want to dance in this shirt pretty much. So the next item I got I actually mostly got for work. I just thought it was like a super cute classic little dressy piece to add to your wardrobe. It has these fun like little leather patches right here and I thought that it made it a little bit different and interesting. It's from Mark New York. At first I thought it was like Marc Jacobs for a second and I was like, oh, that's crazy. I didn't even realize that I got a Marc Jacobs thing, but I don't know. It's Marc New York, so JK guys. Just like this flowy, nice shirt and I think it would be perfect for the office, so that's why I decided to pick it up. It's fun and it has like a little twist to it. It has a little bit of edge because of that leather, you know? So I actually picked up another pair of jeans. They're just these really nice pair of mom jeans and I don't know if you guys can tell the color in this lighting. It's like this bluish green wash almost and they are just such nice mom jeans. They don't really fit right here very well. I might cut them and make them into shorts but I'm not entirely sure yet. But they're just such nice quality and they're from the brand Mixed Blues. I wonder if these pants were from like a boutique or something. I haven't gotten the chance to look up the brand yet so I might go and do that after I'm done filming actually but yeah they fit my waist perfectly they fit my butt perfectly it's just like they don't fit my thighs very well but I just thought that these pants were a great staple to my wardrobe they're obviously high-waisted and they're amazing and they're just this really pretty color I don't know they're different and I really like them the next thing you guys probably actually see me get these quite often but I thought that this one was a little bit different it's just this adidas jacket and it has like this red lining all over it which I thought was super cool these jackets are honestly the best to just throw on with a really cute outfit if it's like cold outside I always wear these types of jackets with like a crop top and a pair of high-waisted pants and like some sneakers or running shoes having a loose baggy jacket like this is just the best and it I don't know, like I've said so many times before, I like feeling comfortable. I will jump on any type of trend that has me feeling comfy but yet look good. So these track jackets are just like the best for that. Like, oh, we're coming up on the last couple of things. I literally feel like I've been talking for hours at this point. I really hope that this video isn't like a million minutes long. The next thing that I got was just this cool Nike t-shirt. I really enjoy these t-shirts like to work out in and it's just a really nice different spin I feel like on an athletic shirt. It has like this nice stripe down the side and honestly if I wanted to wear this like with some high-waisted pants I probably would because I just think it's interesting and different and I like the color of it. I don't know if I'm going to crop this yet just because I kind of like when t-shirts are like this but who knows. Sometimes I get a little scissor happy and things get a little bit crazy and I crop everything. I just really like to DIY I guess. I don't know but yeah it was just a nice really cute Nike shirt and I couldn't resist. You guys I am so sad about this next piece because I was really really excited when I got it. I couldn't wait to wear it and I only got to wear it once before the zipper broke so I'm gonna have to try and re-sew a new zipper on it. I might have my mom help me because she's a little bit better doing that than I am. Look at how cute this skirt is. Like it's just the most perfect color of yellow and obviously this is my favorite color. So when I saw it, I kind of die and I needed it. Luckily it's my size, it fits me perfectly, but unfortunately the zipper decided to come off. So I'm not going to be able to wear it until I decide to fix it or I see my mom again. We'll see 
what happens first. How perfect is this skirt for springtime and for summer? It's just like the perfect color, the perfect length, and it's high-waisted, so what more could you want in a skirt? I'm in love, and it was only, I think it was $2. All right, so the next sweater that I have is a little bit like, it kind of reminds me of the Toucan shirt a little bit, but I couldn't resist it when I saw it. It's this freaking rad Arizona sweatshirt, and it just has the most marvelous colors I've ever seen in my entire life in one sweatshirt. I don't think you could get more of like an 80s like sweater than this. It's so amazing. Just like look at all the colors on this. I am in love. I am not getting rid of this sweater. I think I might keep this forever just because I love the blue. I love just like the color scheme of everything. And one of my best friends lives in Arizona, so I might as well just keep it and rep it when she's there. I might look like a total tourist, but I really don't care because look at how amazing this sweater is. I think this might be one of my favorite thrift finds ever. Okay, and last but not least, I was super in shock that I found these shoes, that they were my size, and that they were the brand that they were because celebrities wear this shoe brand really, really often. I found these Stuart Weitzman booties and they're literally in the most perfect condition I've really ever seen a booty in at the thrift store. I don't know if you guys can tell how in shock I am. Like I've had these for a little over a week now and every time I see them I'm like, what? How did I find these? And they have like Stuart on the bottom right there, which I thought was super cool. I already posted a picture on Instagram of these shoes. They're $550 shoes like normally, and I just thought that they were in such great condition and I need a new pair of black booties. And they're just so different. Like they have like a really thin toe to them and they're just perfect. They're amazing and I don't think I can get rid of these guys. Like they're so pretty. Another one of my favorite thrift finds, guys. Like, this is literally my best thrift haul ever. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that massively long thrift haul that I had for you guys. I really have no idea how long this video is going to be, but thank you. If you watched the whole video, you're the real MVP. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this thrift haul. I love you guys so much, and I just want to thank you for all the support, the love, the comments, everything. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!